After four days on the road, this is what we needed. We've got Ethan cooking up a sick edit right there. And we just got done in the springs. Decent time in the springs, but we've got we've got something awesome. We found the spot. Waterfall. We had a guy. Smith Falls has the most fish between here and there. Yeah. Um, in the Yukon. He told us about this spot. We're gonna rig up, we're gonna rip up these little trout rods. Look at these things. These little Yampa River, these are actually trout rods that Favorite makes. And we're gonna go put some waders on and we're gonna just go walk down there and try and do a catch and cook trout episode where we literally catch some trout and eat them. We're gonna eat lunch right now, but then we're also gonna eat dinner here, hopefully, if everything works out. Below the falls live bull trout, grayling, and rainbow trout. We are still in Northern Canada. We have yet to make it to Alaska, but we need to go catch some trout. We haven't had the most luck fishing. A local guy we talked to yesterday, as you guys know, told us about this spot and supposedly they're gonna, we're gonna catch fish until our arms wear out. But we did not know we have to walk down Mount Everest. Ridiculous cliff. So. This is Mount Everest Junior. All right, here we go. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna let my seat. Mark, you just gotta get her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, yeah! Well, this is hard with one hand. <laughs> We just got here and we figured out that there's actually a little deep pool here. So we're gonna take our boots off. We're all gonna just wade through the, to that island right there. And then uh, cast our spinners in the deep hole. And hopefully we just catch a bunch of trout. We probably should have brought our waders, but we're not some yippy trout guy. We're just a couple of kids trying to catch a couple of grayling. Well, just had to run up to the truck real quick to grab some other rods. Uh, the Yampas were a little light for this current, so we got the jackhammers back out. Um, our boots are filled with water. We got a little bit of, obviously, noise coming from that waterfall over there, but we're gonna try and make it do. Um, we're gonna see what happens here. All right, so all we're doing here is we're just casting spinners into this faster pool here. We did not bring fly rods. We probably should have, but we did not, so all I'm doing is casting a spinner, just kind of controlling it back here. Um, I haven't got a bite yet, but I think it would be, should be too hard here. Just found a spinner. Now it's lost three. I so lost one. Now we only lost two because we found one. So here's what we're gonna do. But here's the thing, we also have to explain like we don't have time to really figure out a lot of bodies of water. We're fishing them for a couple hours. We fish this one for about two. The plan is we need to get on the road. We need to start. We need to get to Alaska. We just plan to get there. We also want to do something kind of cool maybe. And we're gonna stop and fish small rivers along the way, probably like two or three before we get there. But other than that, it's time to go to Alaska. We're 70 miles from the Yukon border. Yukon border, and we're about a thousand miles still from Alaska. Well, from where we need to be in Alaska. So let's go. Let's go. We slept last night in Whitehorse. We are about 800 kilometers from Fairbanks right now, but we are just need to get to Alaska and get to where the fish are instead of messing around. So. Peric thinks he has the idea of a map. No, 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 I just want to explain something. So we obviously need to get some maps of like what we've done, but like think about it. This is one of the Providence we went through. It took us 10 hours to get through here. This is one we've gone through. What is the Yukon? We went through British Columbia, went through Alberta, we went through Saskatchewan, and then we went through North Dakota. And Minnesota. And Minnesota. So yeah. we have to get a map showing exactly what we've driven because there's so much that hasn't been said. Yeah. And obviously yesterday's video with the lake trout fishing, there wasn't a lot of it because so much happened. That was probably a 30 hour span combined in a 15 minutes. Yeah. And we wanted to just show you guys that 
there's a lot of traveling involved. There's a lot of other things besides fishing along the way because once we make it to Alaska in 10 hours, it's fishing. 10 hours, who's driving, me or you? Me. Okay. okay. For two out, three hours and then you're exactly. going to Exactly. And then you're going to take We're doing shifts. Snooze. We're yeah. doing shifts. Yeah, you take your, your hour shift and then snooze. So look at these mountains in the background. Love the mountains. Love this. And uh, that's about it. Yesterday's video, lake trout fishing, wasn't the most intense fishing video, but right. we're getting, we're but getting, it could have been like, it could have been. We're not, we don't have any intel. We're just showing up fishing random places. So <laughs> hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Do do. I'm sorry that yesterday's video was titled lake trout fishing and, all, and only was two minutes of lake trout oh, fishing. Dude, it's too but, cool to wave. This is where I beat him up too. Look at, look at the tourists. So the plan is so to make it just to make it to Alaska and finally start actually fishing every day, getting some real fishing videos together you know the lake trout video we just showed up and tried to fish it didn't really work out and i know we're gonna we're gonna figure it out folks we're taking a little pit stop here in uh, the bar the bar where we are allowed to be in because we're over 18. we finally got some service here and we're just going through um going through the comments let's read some comments spencer i'm not going through anything that's all you buddy. can't stand spencer dudes i don't really care what anyone <laughs> on youtube thinks about me wow that's good that's good life uh yeah. Life tips. Yeah. I have no how I have no idea how you deal with Parrick. Spencer, your patience is exactly. inspiring. <laughs> exactly, thank you. <laughs> Spencer should be getting all this hate like he seems like a chill and fun guy to be around and nothing close to annoying. Are you a chill guy to be around? No, not when I'm around you. <laughs> people people probably ask us why we are why we're friends. I'm actually his brother. Like our our relationship is more on like the brother side of things. Um, <laughs> just imagine two brothers going to Alaska. The young brother that you hate, right? <laughs> like, he's like two years younger than you. He's little, this is him right here. This is him. <laughs> but no, I love the kid to death. Perk's a good dude. <laughs> Wait, aren't they, on, aren't they on the wrong side of the road at 7.50? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> we love reading all your comments. We're doing that all along the way. We're just trying to adapt these videos to what you guys want. So always leave some comments below if you guys are enjoying these videos, if you guys want something else. And uh, like we said before, the real fishing starts tomorrow. But you've got to, you've got to drive, you've got to travel to Alaska, right? You can't just like tra uh, teleport. It's ridiculous how far it is. You don't realize how far. It we really should we like, should have just um, a map doesn't do it any justice until you actually like oh, drive it. Like we thought it was gonna be easy. Hands down, the hardest drive I've ever done. I've never driven that much. One of the hardest things I've ever done. Honestly. You haven't done many hard things, so. Thank you. Well, thanks for coming, guys. Good thanks, guys. Have a good one. Here. Look at this freaking mountain in the background. We are on our way to Anchorage, Alaska. That's where we're gonna stop. And we're gonna fish with Buddy tomorrow. Buddy from Instagram, we're gonna fish with you tomorrow. So where's he from? No, email us. No, I'm talking about your buddy. No, we're oh, fishing my with buddy, our yeah. buddy. We're fishing with a subscriber on Sunday. And we're fishing with buddy your buddy tomorrow. Hopefully. Your buddy tomorrow. Hopefully. And then after that, we're just gonna wing it. We're gonna wing it. That was a lot of food. Let's go. Ethan is staying in the truck and uh, Spence and I are going to try and catch some trout real quick. He's going to try and whip up yesterday's edit. Just using a little spinner here. Oh, there's a boat over here. Look at this. Oh, that was a big trout. That was a big trout that just came up. Yeah, I just missed a big one. I just had a big one come up. Like 12 inches. Why can't I catch one of these little trout? Is that for me? Oh, hell yeah. Thank you. That was not successful. It was still fun. We have not, we've got to make it a goal on our way back to try and catch some trout one day. Would you agree or no? Yeah, I don't know where. Maybe not. Let's try and make it to the border now. 
without stopping. <laughs> Three. And then uh, two passports, and then his passport hasn't come in in time, so the first time to get it. Tuesday morning. 12 a.m. outside Anchorage, Alaska, 20 miles. There's nothing open, and um, we can't get the boat through this drive through so we're gonna see if Taco Bell wants to serve us as we walk up. Hello? Howdy. Hi there. Hey, what's up, guys? How you guys doing today? Good, how are you doing? Good. Is that you in the truck over there? Yeah. Yes. Can you bring your truck around so we can see it, please? And then we can, we're more than happy to take your order. You want to see it? Yep. Like, can you, is it okay? Can you bring your truck around? Like, it's just because of protocol reasons. We can't. We can't go through the drive-through. No, no, I know that. Oh. Can oh. You can just bring it to my front area yeah. over here, the other side. Oh, yeah. Good. And yeah. then I'll then I can take your order. Okay. Oh, perfect. Thanks. Uh, can I get a number? Where is it? Uh, oh yeah, number ten, please. What would you like for your drink on that? Uh, can I get lemonade? Take lemonade, okay? Sounds great. Hey, what's up, guys? Howdy, how are you? Good. It chose me 23, 653. I'm gonna need both of you guys after this to stand back over there. We'll call you when it's ready. Okay. okay. That's us, fire. One drink. One drink. We get two drinks? Oh, two drinks. Two drinks. Alaska Rocks, Eagle rock. River, John Mayfield, owner of the company. He's number one. <laughs> Sweet shout out. Here you go. Come on, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. T Bell. After 70,000 hours on the road, T Bell is what you need. Look at this. Look at these tacos. Spencer gets nothing. Huge shout out to Taco Bell. We were going to have this idea where we do a map. We're gonna, I think we're going to do that in tomorrow's video or the next video. Right now, we're going to eat some food. We're going to actually sleep in the truck, probably in that parking lot right over there. And tomorrow, we are going to. Oh. Just keep rolling this. Tomorrow we are gonna wake up and we are gonna go kink fishing. Finally, we are. We've now got seven days, at least in Alaska, of straight fishing every day. It is 1 a.m. and you can still see it's pretty light out. So we're gonna have a lot of time, a lot of fish, and a lot of tacos to eat. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos.